Baton Rouge's mayor and police chief are set to meet tomorrow with community activists at the Goodwood Library to address a violent weekend. Yes, dozens of people were hurt. Five shootings leaving more than a dozen people hurt. NBC Local 33's Harrison Golden explains what Baton Rouge police want from you. It was a busy weekend for us, and it's uh, a busy that we don't like to see. Five shootings in the capital city between Friday night and Monday morning, with video from the scenes blowing up on social media. These videos are from Friday night's shooting at the Stadium Ultra Lounge in Baton Rouge. Seven people were hurt there, with dozens fleeing for cover. Footage like this is helping investigators plan their next moves, says BRPD spokesman Don Capola. That helps them in trying to identify people who were there to help the investigation along and to keep everything fresh and in hopes of finding out who is responsible. The BRPD is requesting similar footage from other shootings this weekend, including one outside the Mall of Louisiana Saturday night and another near the Tigerland area. Bill Capola says this past weekend marks an exception to what he calls an otherwise less violent year than in two years past. We have community programs going on, outreach programs, uh, and I really feel that that's a big part, uh, a contributor factor of that, and we want to keep that going. East Baton Rouge Parish has had 37 homicides so far this year. That's one fewer than this time in 2017 and 10 below last year's number. But stop the violence, Baton Rouge President Keon Preston underscores a message that fatalities or not, shootings are tragedies. Nobody goes to a club to fall on the ground or to run outside of the club because of gunshots. And people are getting shot. And with summer heating up concerns over more violence ahead, Preston took time from work to tell us over the phone, Baton Rouge has a long way to go. Where can you go to feel safe? In Baton Rouge, for NBC Local 33 News, I'm Harrison Golden. And Baton Rouge police urging anyone who knows anything about these shootings to call Crime Stoppers at number right there on your screen, 344-STOP.